guys welcome back to the channel so i wanted to film kind of a faux beauty secrets inspired video but with of course my own twist i'm going to be bringing in goal setting and self-development into this video because as you guys know if you are not new here that is a huge passion of mine and i kind of integrate self-development into every aspect of my life so i wanted to just kind of take you guys through some of my biggest goals and dreams plans for my future yeah just kind of have a casual chill get ready with me type of type of vibe i don't know what else to say this is going to be a get ready with me i really hope that you enjoy watching and hearing about some of my plans for myself and my future let's get into it so basically skin update i have i'm pretty sure figured out the cause of my acne and i might film a dedicated video at some point once i fully clear up all of the scarring that happened i'm just going to start off with some concealer because i've actually been able to stop wearing any type of like foundation recently sometimes i will wear a bit of bb cream but i don't really need that today so we're keeping it light coverage wow it's actually kind of hard to focus on two things at once so the first one is quite evident just because i am on youtube i want social media to be my full-time job that is by far the biggest goal that i've had over the past five years honestly i actually found a school assignment a little while ago that i still had in one of my old binders and it was basically a vision board for my future and i had the little like youtube logo on it and i'm pretty sure i made that assignment in grade seven i think and i'm obviously graduated now but ever since a young age i've just known that i am meant to do social media and i've recently had some other confirmations on kind of the same wavelength i've started learning a ton more about the gene keys and so many of the gene keys on my hologenetic profile are like pointing directly to this career path for myself that was just really reassuring to me <laughs> and i know that if you're not into the gene keys or into spirituality of any kind that probably sounds extremely woo woo to you but you know ultimately at the end of the day we all have our own things but i would love to be able to fully support myself through social media so that i can travel as a digital nomad see the world if you want to hear more about my travel bucket list i do have that video up on my channel as well i also have just always had such a passion for creating videos creating photos writing i'm a huge writer i love writing especially when it's relating to self development that brings me into another goal of mine i at some point really want to write a book something kind of similar to you are badass but obviously in my own words and kind of my own take on self-development i also totally would love to get more into public speaking and perhaps even do a ted talk i think that that would be so cool because i've always just been that person that watches like endless ted talk videos and i just find them super motivating and super inspiring and i'd love to be able to impact people in that same way i'm now going in with some bronzer i honestly haven't been doing any like powdering just because i feel like it just makes my skin look really just like textured and cakey so i just try to be as minimal as possible when it comes to like the base makeup so i'm going in with the bare minerals bronzer this is in the shade faux tan and this is a talc free powder or talc free powder based bronzer i should say and i feel like this has also been helping my skin just because the bronzer that i was using before did have talc in it talc if you don't know is really bad for your skin so i've been trying to cut that out of my makeup routine Routine. so and also this just like looks super natural and basically i just kind of feather it into where my cheekbones are i don't have the most defined cheekbones i have a pretty decent jawline if i do say so myself but as far as cheekbones go i definitely have a little bit of a chubby cheek situation going on which i don't mind don't know why i'm going into detail about this but here we are <laughs> something that i have recently found out and it has become a major 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 goal of mine is to eventually become a citizen of the world this is something that i found out about through watching sorella moore's finance channel and she was talking about the fact that you can literally purchase passports and become a global citizen 
Is that not amazing? You have to be super strategic about it. And there are a lot of like different kind of stages that you have to go through before you can do that. It also does cost a lot of money, but just the idea that you could theoretically get a European passport or just a passport anywhere in the world and be able to maintain your current passport and just be a citizen of the world and go anywhere, stay anywhere for as long as you want. I just think that is so freeing. But ideally, I would love to travel the world as a digital nomad for about two or three years straight. And then I will probably start kind of purchasing a land or purchasing a property that I can live on on a more long term basis. I'm thinking that what I'm going to do is have multiple investment properties that I can kind of just live in whenever I want. And when I'm not living there, then I can rent it out as like an Airbnb or something similar. I've also really been getting into learning about investments. I've been watching watching tons of videos from Graham Stephan as well as Sorella Moore. Both of them have financial based channels and they frequently do talk about investing. And something that Sorella did that I was really inspired by is purchasing land for the sole purpose of preserving it and protecting the ecosystems. Like, is that not amazing? Like I am a firm believer that we need to do better by our environment and just by the world. And what a badass way to protect the environment than literally just buy it and like protect it. I really am craving financial freedom. It's more or less just freedom overall, but in today's society, financial freedom means physical freedom. And that is obviously something that I want to really prioritize in my life. I want to ideally become the first millionaire in my family. And that will allow me to do so many amazing things for myself, but also everyone that I love and care about and just the world as a whole. I have lots of plans to set up myself financially so that I can devote my time to helping others. I would love to be able to give back to my parents in some way. I would love to set them up for their dream retirement. They have a lot of travel dreams themselves. I would love to be able to help them with that and perhaps pay off their mortgage, something along those lines. I've actually been loving to mix this like peachy pink highlighter with my blush and it makes it like super glowy and pretty. And I just focus it on kind of like this part of my face. I love a little blush on the nose. Next is is a highlight and I use this like gold champagne color. This is a pixie like quad palette situation, but also a benefit of having financial freedom is that as I mentioned before, you can, you know, kind of devote your time elsewhere because you don't have to worry about finances. So I would really love to do lots of volunteer work, perhaps work with a company that helps protect the oceans, restore corals, restore ecosystems, something environmental. And something that I kind of intend to do as I'm traveling is build up some footage for a documentary because that is another goal. I am a huge fan of documentaries and I would love to produce my own documentary. I don't quite know exactly what it would be about, but definitely something activism related. I know that those documentaries are definitely very emotionally taxing, but at the same time, they're so powerful and so impactful on society. And I would love to do some good in the world, to be honest. I think that right now we're just simply not not doing enough for the environment and that's a big problem <laughs> but also it's a new way for me to further develop my filmmaking skills and really just create a storyline out of all of my travels and all of my experiences so going back to the topic of travel i definitely have a few things that i want to do throughout my travels aside from doing the documentary and perhaps writing a book i really want to learn how to surf i'm thinking costa rica el salvador could be a good type of location to do that. I already put highlighter on my brow bone. I'm not used to filming and doing my makeup at the same time. I also really want to do van life somewhere either in Iceland or in Australia, which I know are totally different locations, but they each have their own kind of benefits. Iceland is extremely safe and of course it's beautiful. <laughs> it's also very cold, but it's very beautiful and just something that ever since watching Sorella Moore, I have wanted to see in person, but also in Australia, again, beautiful, beautiful scenery, and it's also a lot warmer. There's just wildlife that you kind of have to be cautious of because everything over there seems like it can kill you. So I'm just filling in my eyebrows. This is just a very dirty um, elf brush that I got, and I just like to do a very like feathery, natural brow. I have pretty big eyebrows, um, but I kind of just like to intensify them even more just because I love the look of like a really thick brow. I just, it's, it makes 
makes me happy. But going back to the topic of Iceland, I would really love to go there and get to meet Sorel. She is literally my biggest inspiration in life. She has impacted my life in so many positive ways and is honestly just the person that I want to become when I'm older. Yeah, she is honestly a large reason why I've been able to grow my social media and just evolve as a content creator. And actually, while I would be in Iceland, I also really want to go during summer so that I can experience 24 hour sunlight. You can just be outside at like 1 a.m. and it's like completely bright out. <laughs> this next one's so basic, but I have to mention it because of course it's something that I want to do in my life. I want to meet my soulmate. As cheesy as it sounds, I want to meet my person. Ideally, I would love to meet someone that is also interested in travel. Maybe I'll even meet this person when I'm traveling. Yeah, that would just be, of course, really, really cool to meet someone that has a similar interest and you know, relationships are fun. <laughs> Not that I would know because I've never been in one, but you know, that's something that I've just come to terms with in my life. Next, I'm just setting my brows in place with this got to be glued spiking glue. This is the only thing that keeps my eyebrows in place. I am a huge fan, as I said, of the bushy eyebrow look and I love doing the kind of laminated eyebrow effect where it's like super feathery and pretty. And this seriously was like literally $3 or something and it's lasted me months on end, which is very convenient. So as for my goals, that is pretty much all the goals that I have my sights set on right now. I'm sure that list is going to expand and grow as I age. I am a huge entrepreneur at heart and I really just want to devote my life to creation and freedom. But I've also really been loving to do some faux freckles. So I've been using this Morphe palette that I've had for so many years now, but I honestly don't do that much makeup. So I've kind of just been using this for faux freckles because it has a really nice kind of like neutral slightly warm brown tone I'm gonna be using this second one right here and I take the back of a bun pin and you kind of just dip it in the eyeshadow and kind of pinch the bobby pin a little bit almost like chopsticks and you just start dotting little faux freckles on your face and it turns out really cute I think so that's what I've been doing recently just for fun and they're super subtle so they I feel like they look quite real and I also like to kind of take it like up my nose kind of towards my eyebrows just to just to make them look a little bit more natural I kind of also contour my nose slightly with them just by putting some like kind of closer to like the tip of my nose so that is probably good and then I just go and I tap them all in to make them look a little bit softer and you want to make sure to like really tap it not rub it or else it's just gonna start looking like you smeared dirt on your face be mindful of that but those are the faux freckles now as you can see it kind of made my cheeks a little bit extra red but that does go down but it also kind of looks like a natural blush so it's fine then i'm just going in with this mascara it's the one from l'oreal it's the i forget what this is called air volume mega mascara i don't know i like it it works pretty well this is just what i've been using lately i also Sometimes if I'm feeling a little bit extra extra fancy, I have been using this Benefit mascara that is blue and it looks so cool, but I'm not really going for that look right now. But I actually will quickly just show you how blue it is because like, look at that. <laughs> like it's, like it's so blue, it's crazy. But anyway, not the vibe for today. We are going with a basic black mascara. I forgot to do my eyeliner, damn it. Okay, we are going to have to try to do that after. Okay, so normally I would totally do this before applying mascara, but we're just gonna have to roll with this and do it after. So basically I just take the same um, brow pomade that I use to do my eyebrows and I use it to do just like a subtle wing on my eye. So I have to get close to the mirror or else this is just gonna go very poorly. So give me two seconds and I'll be back. And I also like to take some in the inner corner just to elongate my eye. I just like the shape that it gives my eye and I don't know, it adds a little bit of extra something to the look. Then I just go in with this Glossier Balm.com and do a little bit of chapstick. This has honestly lasted me so long. <laughs> I also will not be repurchasing just because even though it's really good, it does have beeswax in it and I did not know that when I got it.
And then to just finish everything off, I just go in with some rose water. This is actually just straight rose water that I purchased um, from a like soap kind of company. They sell a bunch of just like random ingredients that you can use to make skincare and they have like regular distilled rose water. And I just have it in like an old glass bottle from another skincare product and I just spray. So this is the current makeup routine. I hope you enjoyed hearing about my goals and dreams. It'll be so cool to look back on this video in a few years and see how far I've come as far as reaching these goals. So yeah. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe and take the bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. Here's my Instagram if you would like to see more content from me. And until next time, I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. Oh, we're living in the present.